Hello and welcome to another episode of Level Survival. Yeah, hi. Yeah, it's me. Don't worry, I'm not gonna use that the entirety of the video. <laughs> Anyways, hello and welcome to another. Welcome back to Level Survival. It has been a while since we did an episode in the series, but if you haven't watched them, uh, we have been doing a ton of streaming, preparing for this specific episode and the coming episodes to come. That didn't make any sense. Uh, the, the, we're gonna roll with it. Basically, there has been an absence of episodes because we've been doing a ton of streaming to, as I said, prepare for this episode. That was just a complete repeat of what I just said. We're gonna roll with it still. Even that was a repeat. Anyways, um, we've done a bunch of stuff. Uh, firstly, wait, I, I actually don't know what to start with. We, we have a lot. We have a lot to do. <laughs> I honestly don't even know where to start. I think the first thing I'm gonna say is that because I, I noticed something. It turns out that some of you don't know about the series called Ramplecraft. I would like to take 10 seconds of this video just to say check out the series. Uh, it is a Minecraft uh, SMP series that I have going on and it is really really cool. I highly suggest that you uh, look into it if you uh, interested in seeing me build and do redstone stuff and also be in an SMP, check it out. Uh, it's on the channel. Um, it, there haven't been an episode for like a week or two, but I'm getting back into it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that because it turns out that some of you don't even know that the series existed. So there you go. Um, that didn't really help me with how I'm going to start this though. Um, okay, so I guess right here. First off, <laughs> we got more uh, with the skeleton skulls. Lovely. We need these, basically. Uh, quick recap, in the last episode, like three weeks ago, uh, two weeks ago or something like that, we did a bunch of the advancements and that is currently the task that we are doing, trying to complete as many advancements as we possibly can. For that we needed to get three more with the skeleton skulls. Why you may ask? Because we need to complete this advancement. Um, uh, uh, wait, aha, this advancement right here eat everything that is edible even if it's not good for you so for that we need to make wait am i remembering this correctly yes i'm pretty sure i remember this correctly we need to make suspicious stew and for that we need a bone we need a brown mushroom a red mushroom and we also need guess what a flower and what is the only flower you're able to get in the nether hmm with a rose so for that we need to fight the wither boss again but on the cool side though that means we'll get a second beacon. <laughs> so I can't really complain about that now, can I? Um, next to that, we did a bunch of looting. Is this even set? Okay, yes, that is set. Good. We did a bunch of looting and we have gotten a lot of loot. So uh, let's go through it, I guess. Um, firstly, over here. This. Oh dear. Hold on. That's, that's too low. Uh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. So in here, as you can see, we have a ton of stuff. We have a ton of netherite scrap. We have five diamonds now. Cool. A lot of iron and a lot of gold as well. We basically raided a bunch of bastions and we got some really good stuff. By the way, if you want to check out the streams, I will make sure that they're in another Survival Season 2 playlist. Now, this is not all that we had. We got a lot of other stuff. Um... I also reorganized some chests here. So as you can see, these are the tools that we got. I think we got one or two extra diamond pickaxes, which is really cool. Um, unfortunately, these two right here has Curse of Vanishing, which is a bit unfortunate, but that's fine. Um, here's my arrow supply. Wait, do I even have any? I don't even have any arrows on me. That's bad. Uh, anyway, we yeah got diamond swords. I didn't craft any of these. We found these diamond swords right here. Um, and we actually ended up making an overpowered iron sword, both from some that we found and then some that we enchanted. Well, one, I think, that we enchanted. And it is right here in my inventory. Look at that. <laughs> Looting 3, sharpness 3, fire spec 2, knockback 2, unbreaking 3. But not only that, it has mending. Which is really, really good because it has looting. So that was amazing to get that. That is such a good thing. And I'm actually going to put it in here because I don't need looting at the moment. And I would rather have um, a stack of arrows, like so, because arrows and gas, gas are annoying. Now that's not that's still all that we got. Um, I'm just gonna open this, and you can see for yourself. Yeah, 
<laughs> we have gotten a lot of diamond armor. So we have five diamond helmets. Unfortunately, this one has close to vanity, but we're gonna ignore that. We have three diamond chest plates, less protection two. We have one diamond leggings and we have one diamond boots. We have a full set of diamond armor right here, which is absolutely awesome. And I don't know if that's actually an achievement of its own. I don't think it is because I would have seen it. Yeah, that's what I thought of, but we already got that because we had a diamond helmet and diamond boots uh, prior to getting this, so that's cool. But this is really, really good, and this is also why we have a bunch of netherite scrap, because we need to fully equip ourselves with netherite armor. So that's going to be very, very awesome. I'm thinking of actually making brand new netherite boots and also netherite helmet, just because some of these enchantments are eh... Aqua Affinity not really useful, Death Strata not really useful. I want to basically get a very good set. I'm not able to get mending on this armor, but it's fine. Um, so that is something we will potentially be doing today. Um, yeah, building the Netherite armor set, but I'm not sure yet because we also got some other stuff. <laughs> we got the foods. We managed to find a chicken and that one chicken gave us three raw chickens, so that is beautiful. We need this food right here in order to complete the advancement of eat a balanced diet. We already have six out of 39. Hopefully we'll get this to one, two, three, four, five more, so 11. Hopefully this should result into 11 and completely complete um, that part of the advancements. So I think that is what we will be doing first. Um, that's not really anything. I've got to leave the base in a moment. Well, later on in a way. So, uh, on stream, we grounded, we grinded and got a bunch of potatoes. And I already explained the chicken. And off camera, I got the carrots. So, we can actually do this. So, what I need to do here is we need to uh, cook one potato, basically. We need. To, I'm just going to save that one. We need to eat one raw. And we need to eat the carrot raw. We need to eat one raw chicken. And we need to eat one cooked chicken. So that is basically what we gotta do. So that's one cooked potato. And then once we have the cooked chicken, we will be able to complete this advancement, which is going to be pretty cool. Now the only thing that we will be needing is the suspicious stew. All right, so this is all the food. Now here's the thing, I just realized I'm not hungry. So uh, why don't we just jump down, um, down here, wait, uh, ow, uh, wait, hold on. There we go. <laughs> we gotta jump down here and we gotta jump here in front of the season two goals. And as you can see, I recolored these so it's a little bit easier to see. I colored this one white and I colored that one light blue. These are the ones that we have completed. This is what remains. And I actually want to know you guys' opinion. Um, I would love to fill out these two signs right here. Obviously not the middle one, it's already occupied. But do you have any suggestions for uh, the thing, two other things that we could do in the series uh, as victory conditions, I guess you can call it, because I'm still preparing for season three, and we could potentially get done with this series before I'm actually ready with uh, season three. So let me know if you have any suggestions. It's not the end of the world. We're gonna take it nice and chill, and uh, yeah, we, we're just gonna take it nice and chill. We could do other stuff as well, even if this series. Uh, comes to an end and we complete all of that we can still play in the world so yeah let me know if you have any suggestions for those though down below in the comments now i'm just gonna try and get hungry here um turns out to be a little bit trickier than i had anticipated <laughs> i just realized this is actually going to take a lot of running around because the cooked chicken and the cooked potato is obviously going to provide a lot of saturation so and I'm, I gotta remove that, because otherwise I'm gonna accidentally eat something. I guess we could eat the... Ah, even the carrot fills out two slots. Oh my. You know, getting a second beacon here is actually going to be pretty cool. Because then we can get two more potion effects here. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, I don't know if we'll beat the wither today, though. Um, we have a lot to do. <laughs> I also would not mind getting my full netherite armor ready for that, because... Um, I want to be fully prepared and also protected and not with iron armor. I want to be full netherite when taking on that beast uh, for a second time. We may prepare for it though because we need to get a mob up there actually. Because we need the wither rose and the way you actually get the wither rose is from 
a mob getting killed by the wither. So we need to get some mobs up there. I'm not sure what. Uh, I tested this and pigmen seemed to kind of work if they're close enough. I guess piglins would work too. I just don't have a lead or anything. And I mean, hoglins can get up there, but they have more health than the than like the pigmen and such. So they might not die. That's the issue. So we might either have to lure some pig piglins or up there using literally gold or something else. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Also, I'm curious. Do I talk too much? Has this been too much talking? Let me know down in the comments below as well, because I, I get mixed feelings about this and, and then and then I don't know what to do. <laughs> Anyways, I think we have uh, enough hunger for us to eat at least this stuff. So uh, I'm actually going to eat the raw chicken after. Wait, is it going to give poison or is it going to give hunger like rotten flesh? I don't know. We'll find out. So first, uh, what is it at? I'm pretty sure. Yes, 6 out of 39. So first, the raw potato. That should put it to 7 out of 39. Then the carrot, which is hopefully going to put it to 8 out of 39. Then the raw chicken. Okay, which is going to get us to... Was that eight? Well, no, I think it went up. Okay, good, good. <laughs> so we have two more. I need to get a little bit more hungry uh, before... I Wait. Yeah, I think I need literally like half a meat stick down. More, I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to go full just to be safe. I don't remember if the pot cooked potato fills out two and a half or three meat bars. Just got to get on the safe side here. Also, it's crucial that I don't die while I'm doing this and waiting. Uh, I'm very happy that this area is relatively safe for right now, because I have 45 levels down here. I do not want to lose them, because I need to enchant the armor. <laughs> we might make the armor this episode, I'm not 100% sure, we'll find out. Um, and then I'll just finalize like the enchantments and such off camera or on a stream or something like that. Um, I'm not sure how much we'll get done this episode. Uh, we'll just take it as it goes. Alright, let's see, try and eat this big potato. Nice, so that should now be 10. Yes, 10 out of 39, and here we go. Cooked chicken. Cooked chicken, everyone. Should this... Is this going to be the final food? This could be the final food. Let's find out. 11 out of 39. This is not the final food, though, because we're still missing the suspicious stew. Which is gonna be a pain to make, but uh, we have to make it regardless. <laughs> I guess I should also point out that I actually have some chainmail armor right here from zombies. If you want to know how I got that, be sure to watch the the streams as well. Um, because yeah, we we thought we had to kill zombies to get the potatoes and the carrots. I guess in case you were wondering how I got those uh, from zombies, how did I get the zombies? Um, by you're basically aggravating a bunch of pigmen standing on a pillar waiting for them to spawn. Kind of like that. Check out the streams. Next thing, I kind of want to see how impossible it's going to be to get a mob uh, all the way up to the wither killing area. Because it's all the way up here. Behind this tree. Up here. And up here. Oh my, it's actually way further away than I... Like, wait, and then I even goes up. Uh, right, how am I gonna get a mob up here? It, no way, I'm getting a actual like pig man up here. Like that, that's not gonna happen. No way, I'm getting a normal pig man up here. It's gonna have to be piglins, isn't it? Now, hold. they're attracted to gold nuggets, aren't they? Because if they are. This could potentially cost me a lot of gold. Um, but then again, we do have a lot of it. I want to kind of stretch this process between two episodes. So this is kind of going to be the preparation. Again, I don't know if we'll be doing the armor today um, or anything. Depends on the time we have left. But right now, I just want to try and see if I can like get... Eh, eh. Like a piglin up there. Oh no. Come on. Leave me alone. Right, all these are baby piglins. They could work because they are interested in the gold. I guess I could aggravate these guys and then get them up there. 
Oh, but I need to do this when I summon the wither, because otherwise they're gonna despawn, aren't they? Right. Um, let me think about this. Right, I think I got the best way of being able to do this. Um, and it's not gonna be with gold. It's going to be with activating either pigmen or piglins. Lure them up here. Wait for them to follow me. I would like like three, two or three with me just, you know, to be safe and sure. So I would need to lure them all the way up here, activated. Pigmen would probably be the best. I keep saying pigmen. They are called Subify pigmen, Piglins, but I like Pigmen better. Um, <laughs> I'm rebelling against calling them Subify Piglins. But yeah, we would need to do the fight over there somewhere, where it's a little bit safer. And not so close to the surface. So I would need to lure them through here. Right, so I mind a bit this way. Uh, that is the staircase over there, that was the previous fighting ground. So I moved over here, so if we summon the wither right here, then I would need to lure the piglins, whatever, lure them in here, and then somehow be able to loop back around, block this off, and then block my exit off. It, it shouldn't be that hard, honestly. I don't think it should be that hard, because it'll run this way, and then... Yeah, it shouldn't be that difficult. Because... I'm gonna run this way. Right. Right. Let's so let's make a little bit of a drill hill out here. I'm gonna run this way. They will be in the room with me. I'm gonna do this and block that off. But then they're just gonna follow me this way most likely. So question if if I block this off and then lure them over here. Uh, this is complicated. Question is if I'm running through here. Can I then possibly do this? Maybe have a hole over here? <laughs> Where I like block that off? I think that might work actually. Right, gonna be running. Um, actually forget that. I'm gonna be running through here. Through here, block that, jump over here and then block that off. I think that's gonna work. I think that's gonna work. And you know what? We will make it real. Uh, I'm gonna activate something and we'll bring it up here and see if it actually works because if it does that would be great Right, I just need a single Thing potentially something that doesn't hit too hard and isn't too hard to kill as well um, You'll do fine. You'll do fine. And he's actually fast. So this shouldn't oh no I only want one of you. That's the thing. I only want one of you Eh, bring two Bring two, bring two, bring two. <laughs> right, this is gonna be interesting. This is already interesting. I need to stay a little bit ahead of them in case I mess up. They're still after me, good, good. Need to go up here. Need to make sure as well that they can follow me. Now they don't hate me anymore. Why? <laughs> why, why are they not able to like make that there we go. <laughs> okay, okay. Get him on. Get him on. Come on, Banner. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Get him on. Okay, this might be difficult with two. Right, here we go. They're right here. They don't hate me anymore. Now they do. So I need to activate them a little bit through the trip. They are gonna run through here. This is gonna be the interesting part because I need a little bit of a lead. So I need to run through here. <laughs> Block that off, and then block that. Okay. And then, really quickly, do that. And now they're in here. Trapped. Then all I would need to do is do that. Unblock this. And do that. And they would be trapped in there. And how on earth am I then going to activate the wither? I'll do that by having a window over here. Yeah, that's gotta work. Thank you, guys. Um... You'll despawn eventually. All right, so that was beautiful. Next thing, we need a few potions for the fight. Um, so we have our grown netherwood here, which is awesome. So we got to brew a few potions here, just like we did the first fight. Um, we will be making... Uh, do we even have any? I should have blaze rods, right? Yeah, I do. Perfect. So we're going to make a strength potion. We are also going to make a night vision potion. 
because that proved useful in the last episode. Night vision potion, uh, this thing, and I'm pretty sure I made a regeneration potion. Uh, yes, I did. I'll need to make sure that I actually brew the right thing because I'm pretty sure I beefed up the strength to tier two, but the regeneration, I think I left. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to double check on that one. All right, get the redstone for you so you last longer. All right, here we have the night vision potion. Uh, put that in there. And I did look back in my old video and I bumped up the regeneration potion to tier two. So it's going to last 22 minutes, uh, 22 seconds. And we will drink that at the beginning of the fight. Um, and that, I think that went pretty well uh, last time. I also should have a bunch of golden apples. I'm going to bring four of those. We're not going to have the fight today in this episode, but um, I also need another glowstone. Wow, I need some more glowstone here for the strength potion. We will not have the fight today, but we will have it in the next episode. All right, regeneration potion two. Then the, no, then the strength potion right here. As preparation, I am even going to put up there uh, the four soul sand that we need. And I'm going to take these into my inventory so I have them at the ready. And I'm also going to make the window up there um, so I can place down the hits. Right, strength. That's going to be strength two. There we go. Strength two completed. So these will be the potions together with the fire resistance as well. So strength two, regeneration two, and night vision right there. Beautiful. I have the soul sand which I'm going to bring up there right now. So it's there. Um, yeah, and then I need to make sure that I have a little bit of an area where I can place down my ender chest. Maybe I'm going to make another one, actually, that I can place up there. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, to be honest with you. Yeah. Right, so if the battle is going to take place right here in this general area, I think having a staging area right here would be pretty good good where I can just yeah where I can put my ender chest down and I can put this stuff in here so it's ready and also so I can put my other junk in here uh yeah that I don't need for the fight now for the window here right bedrock you're gonna be a pain aren't you right I think this is hopefully uh going to work maybe I need to make sure that I actually got this area set up right all right, everything should be set up. So we run in here. We have the area ready here. So the piglins come in here, blah, blah, blah. We block them off and then we block them off right there. So then they are trapped in here close to the wither. And I'll even activate them in case I need to do it again, uh, like to have them close here. Then I need to go up here and then I can place a hit here, here and here, activating the wither. I run back as fast as I can back to my staging area, start drinking my potions, and then we take the fight to the wither. I think that's a better plan. Hello. You're not invited, I'm sorry, but this, this house is for me and me only. And things that are welcome and you are not welcome. <laughs> All right, so the final thing that we will be doing in this episode will be to prepare for the enchantment of the fully new set netherite armor. So for that, we need uh, lapis from Bob here, so that's for one set. Uh, so one piece, one piece, and one piece. Pretty expensive gold-wise, actually. Oh, I have a sack. Um, so yeah, that is the lapis lazuli. We will need to enchant the full set of that right armor. I know I already have the boot and the leggings, but I wanted I want a new set, and I have I have the that right for it, and I have the the what's it called the um the diamond armor for it, so I might as well. Now, I do realize we haven't done... I Have I mostly been talking this episode? I don't know. But to end off this episode with with kind of a, with a bang, um, we're going to do something absolutely ki kind of horrendous, to be honest. <laughs> kind of, kind of, kind of dumb. But it, it's part of it. it it's part of this getting the the advancements and um i you might be able to to see where i'm going with this but um it just has to be done and 
Oh, wait, wrong, wrong place, wrong place. Um, yeah. That was an advancement that we had to get. <laughs> so, guys, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope to see you in the next one where we will be fighting the wither a second town. So, time. Blah, blah. Where we will be bothered. I still cannot speak. Where we will be fighting the wither for a second time. A rematch, basically. And we will also be making the full set of Netherite armor and we will be enchanting it. And yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Also, we're gonna get the Wither Rose and uh, finally eat some suspicious stew. So that's gonna be interesting. But at that point, guys, I think we will have done all of the advancements that we are possibly able to do. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be interesting. Now, actually, there is one hidden advancement. I took a look at the hidden advancements and there is only one that we can do and that is I think hit or kill five mobs with a with a crossbow shot. A single crossbow shot which would basically require piercing I think five. Um, so that is something that we also have to do. So that is part of the advancements. I think I might add it as a second uh, sign down there because it is a hidden advancement and also it is a completely other project and all of this stuff um so just to have some more fill in there and get some satisfaction from uh, putting the advancements as completed <laughs> i guess i don't know but with that guys i really hope you have enjoyed this episode if you did be sure to leave it a like it helps me more than you know subscribe if you're new and haven't done so yet and or i should say um enable those notifications also consider joining my discord server link down below in the description and also if you wish to support me even even further you can support me on my Patreon page, link down below as well. But anyways, I really hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye. This this can It looks weird, crouching and jumping at the same time, doesn't it? It looks weird. Minecraft physics. Oh, yeah.